from 2015. According to the ABC, the big news event of the week was the leaking of cabinet discussions on treatment of foreign fighters who had turned their back on Australia. The ABC want Malcolm Turnbull to kick the Conservatives out of government. They hope by claiming it will happen, then the Abbott-led government will implode. But that is just not realistic. On the other hand, Shorten is facing another test of character, and he has already fallen short. He has been challenged to explain why the union he led stole money from the poorest workers so as to feather the union nest. It doesn't matter if he isn't challenged within the Australian Labour Party, if he is arrested by police and thrown into jail for a long time. A power-sharing arrangement could be worked out with the second in charge. It was interesting hearing the former advisor to Rudd call Gillard solid, in policy terms and Rudd brilliant. In reality, neither offered worthwhile policy. Rudd said he was an economic conservative like Howard before the 07 election, but changed his mind after election and embraced tossing money away. Meanwhile, Gillard was against a carbon tax prior to election, but could do nothing else when she was in government. Rudd claimed to have ended the carbon tax the second time around, while Shorten voted to keep it after conservatives were elected. The only brilliant or solid policy the ALP has had to implement is a useless tax. Ending the useless tax was one of the few things independents supported the new Abbott-led government on. Now, with an increase in growth, it can be seen the tax opposed growth.